Uh, good evening. Uh, today is uh, September the 12th, 2019, and this is the ASCA Board of Directors monthly teleconference. For those tuning in for the first time, uh, we have an agenda, and for each topic, um, we go around and discuss, um, especially if there are motions on the floor. And um, our next topic tonight, uh, oh, before I do that, those present today are Cindy, Denise, Jean, Judy, Ken, Linda, Rachel, Rick, Jan, and Pete, and myself, Liz. So the first item on the agenda is last month's email business. Cindy, I'll make a motion to approve last month's email business. I can second Any that, second. Denise. Okay, so there's a motion on the floor by Cindy, seconded by Denise, to approve last month's email business. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Our next item is the system liaisons report. Rachel? Um, okay, just got the um, project update from Ray uh, today about noon. And last week, um, Inventive is still working on upgrading the ADMS application to work on the latest version of Windows. And this week, they're finishing the upgrade of the ADMS application. And so that is the extent of the update that we have for this week. Pretty short and sweet. Do you guys have any questions? If not, thank you all. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, so the next item here are also for Rachel, uh, or from Rachel, the stock issues for 2020 nationals. Uh, Rachel? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I just want to ensure that everyone understands uh, the position that the consortium and now ASCA is in regarding the stock and the facility setup. If you go to a site that is not specifically already set up with arena panels and arenas for cattle and sheep, and that there is not dog broke stock nearby, aka feedlot, cattle, or um, people that use their dogs and, and stock large amounts of cattle. It has taken me since last year, literally uh, working with every stock contractor that we know in North Georgia to finally find the uh, cattle uh, for the 2020 nationals. It has been quite a stretch because the requirement for 150 head of cattle and sheep uh, is far beyond what most people stock in the weight and the type that we need uh, for a nationals. I could easily have found um, full grown cows 14, 1500 pounds, but that is just too much to use at a national event. And so to get these calves, um, in this case, now we're going to have to find someone, and hopefully we have, to be able to dog break, not only the cattle, but the sheep, 160 head of each of them. That's going to be quite a chore. So I want the folks to understand that are talking about having a nationals and a finals at all these different sites. There is much more to hosting this event because of the stock requirements than just saying, oh, this is a great site, let's go there. Because in the case of Georgia, not only have we had an extremely difficult time and we went through every stock person in contact that I know, and I have grown up in Georgia, and I know all of the names and the players justifying the cattle and the sheep. 
and then you get to the facility setup. While the Georgia International Horse Park is a beautiful facility, it is a horse park. It is not set up for cattle and sheep. So finding the working pens, and we still haven't totally found the panels to line the arena that we're gonna use for the cattle, again, has been almost a nightmarish chore. So I fully, fully, fully hope that uh, the folks that think that we can just go to these other sites understand what it takes to host this. And this is just from the stock standpoint, because that is the long pole in the tent, is finding the stock. So I just wanted to make that clear to everyone, the efforts that we've had to go through to be able to host the 2020 Nationals here in Georgia. Thank you. I'm going to open this uh, for uh, if anybody, any directors have questions or comments uh, for Rachel. Listen, um, this is Denise. I, Go ahead, I, totally Denise. I totally understand where Rachel's coming from because I have 180 ducks in my backyard for our nationals because, you know, she says it's hard to find 150 head of cattle and sheep. Well, I can tell you, nobody has 150 ducks. And so <clears throat> we've had them since February and they're gonna to go to nationals. And after nationals, I don't know about you, but I'm not anxious to have 150 ducks at my house for the rest of their lives. So now we have to get rid of them and decide how we're gonna do that. However, the national stock program is vital to ASCA. But at this stage of the game, it's also vital that we reconstruct it. And we look, we look further at, um, reducing the number of stock. I know we've talked about it, and it's not something that's popular from anybody's standpoint, but if you were on the, the side of the fence that Rachel and I are on, you'd understand that um, it's, it's not only hard to find the stock, but it costs a fortune also. So it's just something for everybody to be aware of, and I appreciate what Rachel and that committee has done because it is not only emotionally and and um, financially stressful, but it's very physically stressful when they have to start building arenas. So, yeah, Denise, to that know. point, your comment about the ducks. Well, mm -hmm. okay, so I've had to change my entire farm situation around because I too have got to raise 175 ducks next year because no one wants to take on that chore. So I'm going to lose my lamb crop next year because I cannot raise lambs and the ducks. And I will be getting those ducks in probably April. And so my whole for the first two months, you know how intense it is trying to take care of those baby birds. And I, like you, what in the world are we going to do with 175 ducks after Nationals is over? Because the only um, way that we can think is to put an, um, you know, put an ad up on the fairgrounds on the national site to let people know that we'll be selling ducks cheaply. But guys, this stock has just gone out of sight. And I'm with Denise. It is time for us to revisit this. And I understand everyone wants to have the best opportunity. I only have stock dogs. I understand that. But we have come to the point that this needs to be revisited seriously. And that was that is essentially another reason, and Denise brought it up, why I'm bringing this to you. It is almost out of reason, with the, with the exception being Texas, because they run that much stock down in Texas, and, and they use dogs a lot. In Georgia, in our case, nobody uses dogs on stock. And the sheep guys that we normally used to rent the sheep from they can't 
provide that many numbers. When we used to have to have half of those numbers in the old days when we only had 20 dogs running in finals, we could provide that. None of the sheep guys, the sheep dog guys, run 160 head of sheep. They just don't do it. Thank you, Denise. A question, Linda. So why don't we go, go back? Ahead, Linda. Why don't we go back to the 20 dogs in finals? I, and and to your point, we need to revisit this. We need to revisit how many dogs are running in finals, and and who wants to remain there. And we need to revisit it, especially due to the stock. Even if we keep 30 dogs, uh, we need to revisit the stock numbers. Thank you. This is Jean. Um, Go ahead. Jean. Wouldn't this be this? Wouldn't this be something that? Um, the SEC should be discussing the number of dogs and the number of stocks? Yes, ma'am. But remember, the finals is what drives the numbers, Gene. And the board owns finals. So that's why I'm bringing it to you guys. And and so how do we get the stock dog committee? We've asked them to look at it before, and they're like, no, we're not changing that. No, we're not doing this. So we've asked them to look at the number of stocks. I believe, Jan, can you confirm that w that has been discussed on the Stock Dog Committee? Yes, it has, and um, they have looked at different ideas. It has not probably been discussed in over a year. Yeah. There's new chair and new members. Maybe this would be an opportunity. Yeah, that that would be my recollection too, that it's been over a year. This yeah, it's, it's been a long time. Yeah. Can I make a comment, but, Linda? Are we? Go, uh, okay. I, I thought there were just gonna be questions, but obviously we're going beyond that. So I'm just gonna go around because this is starting to get a little bit off here. Uh, Cindy, do you have anything? Uh, just if it want, if you wanted to go farther, Send it back to the stock dog committee. Denise? It does need to go further, and I think that the board needs to discuss it. I think the stock dog committee needs to discuss it, and I think independently, and I think we need to um, discuss it together. So that, so that unless you have put one of these events on, you do not know what it is like. And that's the bottom line. So that's my suggestion. Okay, Jean, any other comments? Uh, no, thank you, not at this time. Oh. Any comments, Judy? No, not at this time. Ben? No, I have nothing to add either. Linda? Um, the, the last time the board asked the committees to make their finals pay for themselves, the stock dog committee decided to add a day and add two judges. And then the board failed to raise the, the entry fee. So maybe that should be revisited. Okay. Uh, Rick? I definitely think it needs to be uh, looked at. I know we don't like giving directives, but, you know, it is as the final now, starting in 2021. Thank you. Uh, anything else, Jen? Um, no, thank you. Do you have anything, Pete? Oh, I could go on for about 15 minutes on this subject, <laughs> but okay. I'll, I'll keep it short. Having done the next to last 20 dog finals before the stock dog committee decided that we were, the board was working for them as opposed to the other way around, we hauled cattle in from South Virginia. And we were fortunate in New England to have a rodeo outfit, who's what, 
the guy who ran it, his wife, was a member of ASCA or ASNI. So we did a horse arena in rodeo panels. I think the board needs to explain to the stock dog committee that uh, we're, that what the working relationship is, because uh, that was the whole reason there was how many years, Linda, between Springfield and New Jersey in New England. And the people who are sending all these nice words in about we need something in the Northeast don't understand this problem. So thanks, Rachel, for getting it on the record. So that's that's all I have. I but you know I've been there and I've done that uh, in an area where there weren't cattle. And the other only other question I, I was looking for and I can't find her name, but we had a for the 2007 national specialty we had a duck contractor. And no, that's what she, she did. I think she, because she lost so okay. much money on it. Yeah. Kim okay, Schneider. I, just, I, I thought I'd throw it out. Yeah. 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 She, she brought like 400 ducks in from uh, from Michigan, I think it was. Right. Anyhow. Okay. I and won't hold us up any longer. Right. She lost money on that I'm raising ducks. Thanks. Okay. So I'll go last. Um, I I I don't like the rest of this, and everybody know that knows that, but. They are sometimes necessary, and I think that this may be one where a directive is necessary. If we're going to have these issues and, um, you know, have so much problem and our volunteers having so much trouble uh, getting the livestock, except for Texas, I guess, then uh, we need to do something. Um, now that ASCA uh, has taken ownership of the nationals. Its uh, success depends on ASCA, and the consequences of the successes and failures also go to ASCA. So I think that, um, yeah, it's time that we really look at this and try to find viable solutions. And I know that the competitors don't like it. Uh, when we mess with finals, but uh, we must have a reality check, I think. So the things, uh, I think that Rachel has started that process by explaining what she has gone through for the 2020 Nationals. So uh, that's all I have. So any other comments or questions on this topic? Okay, so. Now to the last item then. Uh, Denise, you wanted to talk about something on the 2023 Nationals? Well, since the um, location of the Redmond, Oregon has been repealed, there is not a location set for that Nationals. And that's the, that was the rotation um, the the the, the, um, the destination for the location locate lo sorry the destination is the west region for that fourth spot in the in the rotation so I would like to propose that because nothing else has been brought up that we do indeed use the Bakersfield location again it's a successful location it's adequate for every every venue that we have. It has been um, has has great RV parking. It has decent buildings. It has great arenas. It has lots of space. Um, so I would like to propose that that the 2023 Nationals from the Western Region go back to Bakersfield. Okay. So are you proposing or are you making a motion? Well, I guess I can make a motion. Um, well, if you want it officially I, done, then it has to be a motion. Okay, so I'd like to make a well, motion. Well, this is, I, if I could just suggest, this is the kind of motion that would probably be best oh. handled over email. Okay. Fine. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm, I'm okay just, with any decision on this up, one. I don't, you know. I wanted, I wanted to bring it up in the discussion yeah. because it, it's been just tabled. There's been no discussion on where to right. move it since it's removed from Oregon. And if, you, if ASCA wants to have a successful nationals, I think this is a good location. And so um, I talked to them recently and, and they are available for the same week. Unfortunately, we can't go any earlier than the first week in November because of their fare. But they're will, they are willing to fit us in for that week, um, for the week that we need. So that's okay. up for discussion. Anybody wants to discuss it? Okay. Thank you. So, if anyone, uh, anybody has any comments or questions or whatever, at this point in time, um, I guess I can go around real quick. Cindy. I think um, let's get through November. Let's see if any issues come up. And um, we can revisit and, and discuss it before a motion gets put where we don't have time to think about it and look at all the issues. Thank you. Uh, Jean? I have nothing at this time. Okay, Judy? Being someone that's on the east side of the country, I would hate to see it in Bakersfield again. Um, if it's going to be on the west coast, it needs to be in the Pacific Northwest to give those people a chance to go to nationals. Otherwise, we're ending up with just a couple of sites. And I'm not saying that Bakersfield isn't a good site, but now we're catering to a very, very specific part of the ASCA membership, and the rest of it is kind of left out. So I'd like to discuss it further. Agreed. Thanks, Judy. Ken? I have nothing to add. Uh, Linda? Linda? Have we lost Linda? I'll go back. Uh, Rachel? Well, once again, we just discussed the difficulty of finding sites that um, can host the ASCA Nationals and Finals and can provide um, the requirements. So, I mean, we know Bakersfield can, and you're talking about going to the Pacific Northwest. I believe Judy mentioned that. Well, we just canceled the site in the Pacific Northwest because there's not enough support up in that area to host it. And if you go back to Albany, you will see what Ken had to do to scramble to bring in livestock at the last minute when his supplier failed him. And some of those calves probably weighed less than 200 pounds that were worked. So in reality, I would be concerned about going up that far regarding finding suitable stock to be used. That's all I have. Thanks, Rachel. Rick? I would recommend that we put this on the agenda for nationals. Uh, I don't know, it seems like we're trying to look for a reason to not do Bakersfield. Uh, Denise, how many times have y'all put on nationals? This will be the fourth time. And some of you old timers might know a little bit more than me, but I don't really remember a lot of problems in Bakersfield besides the area maybe being not, you know, the best in the world. Uh, but well, as like far as we're, as we're trying to. As far as the ahead, area please. is concerned, that the neighborhood is concerned, you know, every fairgrounds in California was built in the 40s, so they're not going to be in your prime location yeah. neighborhood. However, uh, the um, this this facility 
has never we've never had a problem from the from the outside neighborhood um the neighborhood is uh i think it's significantly cleaned up now from what it was in 12. um there is a, a gate completely a fence completely around the facility there is a gate with a passcode required now they have a 24-hour um security person on the ground we've never had a problem ever at a national with it you know yes there used to be helicopters flying but you know what i was in new york and they do the same thing and people go there so you know you have problems every place but the point is there are very few i mean people say have it somewhere else well we went to another location and it wasn't adequate there there just are not a lot of adequate locations that you can afford and so bakersfield is affordable and they're willing to do it um health wise any any time you take a take dogs to a, a facility that has a lot of pets a lot of dogs on it you're going to look at some health issues however there are multiple dog events at every facility that we've ever gone to and so the the bottom line is vaccinate your dogs take care of them be careful what you do with puppies whatever, because when that situation happened in the past, um, you know, the first the first thing that we saw with that with the problem was two days after we were there. So that's not exactly the fairgrounds problem, but that's a boot point. So the bottom line is just take care of your pet and enjoy it. Not had a problem there. Okay, okay. I would yeah. like I would like Rick to finish his point. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you, uh Liz. That's kind of what I was getting at, Liz. I mean, or excuse me, uh, Denise. It seems like that we want to find fault in Bakersfield. And after four times, some of these facilities because other members are going to come in and take him over on a yearly basis and we know that these facilities handle us well so just food for thought Pete I'm with Rick we need to discuss this at length I mean we're 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 going to the 2019 and we'll be discussing the 2023 location and that's four years out so uh, it's a it's a great topic for some face-to-face -face discussion and I'll be a little sarcastic here solve all these problems let's move to Texas <laughs> well that has not been the first time I've heard that um, okay so this is where I'm at with this I think that um, this is not something that uh, we should be making a decision on right away. I think that uh, we should really talk about it and look at everything. Um, th there is the fact that, you know, there is this rotation that ASCA has agreed upon uh, with previous motions, uh, previous boards, and um, I'm not sure it's that easy to get away with that after you know making um, those plans. Um, and I think also that um, the problems with the livestock really give me pause um, in thinking about other venues, uh, or not other venues, but other sites. Um, and so um, now that ASCA is going to take them over. I think that um, 
we need to be extremely careful, make sure that everywhere that the nationals are uh, done and conducted, that uh, we have everything that we're gonna need um, because otherwise we're just gonna be in trouble. So I think that we should just continue this discussion and I am not against the idea of putting this on the nationals uh, agenda. So that's all I have about that. Any other comments, questions on this topic? I think we should discuss it at nationals. I think that's a great spot to do it because we have a lot of input from, uh, from members and go from there. Okay, any other comments, questions? Okay, that was the last item on the agenda. And uh, so I'm going to uh, move that we adjourn. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to the membership for tuning in. And thanks for to the directors for um, a very full Long. night uh, of, of this meeting. Thank you all. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.